Welcome to our debate about Pax Arubiana, European peace, about EU 37, 37 countries united, about EU enlargement, and also about, in this video, uh, to prepare a little bit uh, the Eastern Partnership Summit and to discuss about the current issues, especially on the Southern Caucasus. I have already made a video about uh, Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. All three videos are online at this YouTube channel. And I have already talked about how we need a Balkan Benelux style, that's for the Balkans, sorry, a Benelux style uh, situation. Um, it's actually true for the Balkans as well. I promoted very much Balkan Benelux, and now I'm logically also promoting the Southern Caucasus Benelux. Benelux, uh, the union of the three countries, uh, Netherlands, uh, Luxembourg, Belgium, now they are the very best friends. In the past there were terrible wars and they were victims of their big neighbors, uh, Germany, France, yeah? and of course the whole world was passing through on these various conflicts of the European history. So it was not all peace and harmony like it is today. It was hard work to get this done, it was important um, political effort uh, to get this done and it can be done as well in the Balkans where already the situation is much better, but also in the Southern Caucasus a Benelux-style cooperation can be established in cooperation with the European and NATO partners because that's the fair and good uh, way to do it and without any kind of imperial ambitions, Iran, you know, kind of uh, Russia, China, no, the European way of doing things in regional cooperation can be also the Nordic Council as a role model, the Baltic Council, the Visegrad, you know, there is many role models for really excellent regional cooperation models and for the Southern Caucasus this is also very effective. One thing which is in between and uh, makes everything complicated is uh, the uh, Nagorno-Karabakh or Artsakh uh, conflict. You know, that's basically the conflict between Azerbaijan and between Armenia in uh, the region uh, of Azerbaijan. That's a region of Azerbaijan with an uh, Armenian majority population which has uh, declared their own republic and now it seems since uh, 30 years nobody really knows what to do. Obviously the way is very clear because um, I would say the outcome ultimately is very clear. The question is how to go there because and this is a region of Azerbaijan with a majority uh, population of Armenians in that region. And this is of course a conflict because they either want to be with Armenia or be independent. But the question is, is there a justification for such an independence and should that be internationally recognized? And I say no, because um, there is no immediate kind of uh, danger for the human rights of and the Armenians living there and its international recognized borders and we have to keep and want to keep these principles of international law and what is happening and how this can be settled. We have many, many very positive examples in Europe. The best one is of course